What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over some DIY crafts that you can do at home with your dogs. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I am a golden retriever mom of two. And since it is Christmas right around the corner, we are going to be doing some Christmas paw print paintings. So I went over to the Dollar Tree and got a few canvases. I got four of the eight by 10 size. And then I also got two of the six by eight size. So my idea was to do individual paw prints of these two, which probably are not gonna end up being Christmas colors, just so that way I can keep them up all year round. And then I was going to do two Christmassy ones per dog. So that's why I ended up with four. As for the paint, I got red, green, and white, which I don't know why I got white to go on a white canvas. But anyways, we ended up doing something similar to this at one of their Christmas parties at Pet Supplies Plus. They did these little joy cards with their paw prints. This one is Larcy's, this one is Koba J's, and as you can see, they didn't turn out super well because their paws weren't super groomed at the time. They still had the fur in between their paw pads. So I just took the time to shave out both of their front paw pads. So hopefully these paw prints will work out a lot better than those ones did. I think what we're going to do is a Christmas tree and possibly a wreath. Another idea that I had was some candy pieces, but we will see how the tree goes first and then kind of go from there. I am not an artist at all, but hopefully I can make this look at least somewhat decent. So let's see how this goes. By the way, all of this paint is washable and I Googled what is safe for dogs and it says that this is fine to use. So as soon as we're done, I just have their paw cleaners on standby so that I can rinse off their paws right away. All right, I'm gonna get all of this opened up and then hopefully this goes over well. Let's just do two canvases for now and just see how it goes. I would show you guys what I'm doing, but as you can see, I have two very nosy girls who always have to be involved in everything. Every time you're opening something, they just automatically assume that it's for them because it usually is. We're gonna definitely have to do this one dog at a time. This is gonna be a little crazy. I'm gonna do Koba first, put Larcy away for a second, and we'll try the Christmas tree. Here, Coco. Good girl. So we're gonna try to do three on the bottom, two in the middle, one on the top for the Christmas tree. So let's see how this goes. Koba's Christmas tree. What do you think, Coco? Did you do so good? She looks so nice, Mama. Do you look so good? Now for the next painting, what do you think that we should do? I think we're gonna do a wreath and then do two bread paws at the top to make a little bow. So we're gonna do more with the green, okay? Did you just get that on your nose? No? Okay, good girl. You ready to paint? Hey, you gotta get over here. Come on, get over here. Good girl, get ready to paint. Good girl. You got me mommy so artist. Coco, let's sit. Oh, that's a good girl. Ready to paint? So this is her wreath before I put the bow on it. So I feel like if I do the bow at the top, I'm gonna have to put her paw print sideways and then make the string come down this way. I feel like if I do it at the bottom, it'll be too short. I think it turned out really good. So I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll do her red paint. Larcy's turn. Good girl. Ready? 
you're gonna do some painting, okay? Good girl. One more girlfriend, okay? Then you can get a break and then I'm gonna finish up sissy, okay? Okay, just the pocket, baby. Good girl. Good girlfriend. So this is Larcy's tree and that's Larcy's wreath. I think that turned out pretty good. There's a little smudge on that one, but overall I think it turned out okay. I'm gonna go grab Koba and we're gonna do her red bow on her wreath and then we'll let these dry and then I'm gonna go grab Larcy and then we'll do her red bow. Koba's wreath. Do we do that as the top or this is the top? What do you think? I know, you're like, I'm ready mom, I'm ready. She's already giving me her paw. Okay, you ready to paint? Okay, come here, get in your spot, come here. Get in your spot, good girl, can you see it? <gasps> can you see it? Sit, good girl. Are we gonna finish up your painting? We're gonna do red this time, okay? I'm gonna go make a bow and make it super pretty, okay? Here we go. It's okay. Girl, Coco, are you having fun? Are you having fun? Okay, we'll make that your bow. I think it looks cute. Let's slide that away. Get the lid on this. You're like, is that it? That's all? My job's done? Girl. Okay, mama get it. Okay, hold on. Stay right there. Good girl. You want to do it one more time? Well, let's see. What do you think? Does it look good? Yeah? So here's her wreath with her bow. I think it looks super cute. Alright, got Larcy back. We're going to do her bow. I think I'm going to do it up in this top corner here just like I did Koba's. Ready to paint, girlfriend? That's the last painting job for today. Say this the last painting job for today. You having fun? Oh, I hope you having fun. You ready? Okay, come here. Come up here. Let's sit down. Come on. Oh, that's a good girl. Shall we? Hey, look at your paw. You already got your paw ready. So we're gonna do red this time, okay? It's okay, I got it. Ready? Stay still. That's not a very dark one, huh? You're gonna try to go over that first one again, okay? There, that's better. Good job. So this is 
how Larcy's wreath turned out. I had to go over that first paw print twice because it was super light the first time that I did it. But overall, I think they did really good. They behaved really good for it and I think they turned out super cute. So I'm gonna let these dry a little bit and then I'm just gonna finish making the bow for this and then filling in the trees that they made as well. These two are both Kobas. Since she got done first, I'm doing hers first since they're dry. Larcy's are still a little bit wet. But for her tree, I'm gonna do a little star at the top here and then a little tiny trunk for the tree. Other than that, I'm debating if I should just try to put little tiny bulbs in between here or should I try to string lights? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna start with the star and the trunk and then see how that goes. Alright, so there's her star and then her little tree trunk. adding a little bit of red into here. I think it looks cute. All right, so there's Culpa's bow, and then I just drew little berries inside, and then I'm just gonna sign her name on the bottom of each of hers. Just check it twice. We go ho 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 in the chimney tonight. <laughs> we go Leo sleigh just a little on the side. On the side, on the side, on the side. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Mr. Claus, Mr. Claus, you ain't right. You're so naughty. You're the one Christmas gift I can't buy. There's a twinkle in. And then this is the final project. I think they both turned out super cute. I'm really, really happy with both of them. I think they had a decent time making them with me. So if you guys wanna try it out, let me know how it goes. As always, you know the drill. If you found this helpful, if you enjoyed this, make sure you let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you're not already, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. And as always, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. You're the one Christmas gift I can buy